president clearly criticizing China for its contributions to the World Health Organization. I want to bring in Brett Baer, anchor a special report. Brett, good afternoon to you. Here, here are the numbers that were Bill. cited. World Health Organization contributions, the United States, 893 million annual, China, 86 million. Where do you see this going now? Well, I think there's definitely going to be a scale back. And to your last guest, mm -hmm. there is a real effort by China to step up its PR game, its propaganda game around the world, and to send aid not only to the U.S., to Europe, uh, to be the benevolent um, player in the coronavirus uh, scandal because it really is a scandal in the early days and what those numbers were coming out of China. Take, for example, Bill, that China is Japan's biggest trading partner. And yet in Japan's latest economic stimulus package, they allotted $2 billion to any company that took its production out of China and brought it either back to Japan or went to another country. I think there are going to be real pushes, not only in the U.S., but around the world, to kind of pull out of China as a result of this coronavirus deal. Yeah, I don't know how much consideration you've given to the funding for the World Health Organization. Uh, but there, there, as Vice President Pence said, there will be tough questions asked of that organization. Look at the numbers, too. And it goes along the similar vein about the number, amount of money you give to the United Nations on an annual basis. Now, we should point out the World Health Organization comes under the U.N. umbrella. Uh, when you consider that and you think about that, um, the, the funding may be one thing, and, and perhaps you, you make a move on that. I, I, would, I would venture to guess that this is an administration that would be more than willing to cut back on the money, a transactional presidency, and perhaps exact some change from the organization. When you consider six years ago, 2014, Ebola, the World Health Organization botched it. They were very slow to respond in Western Africa, and every organization and government around the world knew it and criticized it, arguably, justifiably so, Brett. I think you're going to see this. I think they're, they're going to use this money and the biggest funding being the U.S. of the WHO as leverage uh, to try to make change inside the WHO. I mentioned yesterday about uh, the same kind of equation with NATO, uh, different scale, obviously, but still using that leverage. And the president has done this numerous times. Uh, there's a lot of criticism about the WHO to go around, but in the middle of a crisis of a pandemic, uh, you know, may not politically be the time to pull that plug. 